Atkinson, Baldridge on the front row. We're going to fill the work on into turn number three. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time to drop the hammer. 30 trips around for your cash money late models and Baldridge got off to an epic start as they took the green flag out of turn number four. Lap one is going to go to the young gun, Brandon Baldridge. Atkinson shuffles back to second. Bittner in third. Parmley now getting to the inside of Bittner. Bittner's going to make that high line work as he gets a good run down the back stretch into turn number three. Atkinson on the inside of Baldridge. Baldridge is going to still take that high line. Two laps down, 28 to go. Down through one and two, Baldridge gonna lead them. Atkinson's all over the back bumper as you got the 22 of Philip Jackson down there in the infield. Baldridge got another lap led. Parmley starting to close the distance on Atkinson. As Mike Bittner gonna shuffle on back into fourth. He was door to door with Parmley last time by. Caden Cornell gonna be sitting in that number five spot as your race leader, the 13 of Brandon Baldridge. Out of Alton, Missouri, going to lead another lap. He's got four of them down, 26 to go. Well, last time by, Jay's had a bad run coming out of turn number two, and that allowed Bittner to close the gap. Bittner's now on his backside trying to sneak a peek under him as they come out of turn number four. Palmley's still going to hold on to that lead, but Bittner is right there looking to gain that spot and move up. And it looked like the 45 of Marvin Forrest is going to make a hard right turn to Pitt Road. But Baldridge is still going to be your leaders. We're already working through lap traffic. He clears around the 87 of Steve Steele. Atkinson's going to try to clear around Steele now as we come out of turn number four. We're going to cross the stripe with seven down, 23 to go. Oh, your race leaders, they're slicing and dicing through lap traffic right now. As Brandon Baldridge with that bright orange spoiler, your current rookie of the year, is he's going to lead them on down into turn number one. And he's got Noah Ames right in front of him. Dustin Atkinson starting to close the gap. Jace Parmley trying to close the distance on Atkinson as Bentner going to be sitting back there in fourth. Caden Cornell all by himself in fifth, but he's got Tim Petty right behind him as they're going to cross the stripe. You're going to see nine down, 21 to go. Baldridge gets around Noah Ames there, and here comes Atkinson going to try to get to the back bumper and try to get that lead. As they're closing down their point season, Atkinson is trying to gain any points he can to close the close the gap on Jace Parmley. So he's going to gun for that lead right there and put as many cars between he and Parmley as possible. Atkinson coming right up to the back bumper of Baldridge again, but Baldridge leads another lap. we got 11 laps down, 19 more to go. Baldridge going to be tiptoeing through the tulips around the top shelf all the way around the track. Atkinson going to follow Parmley and Benton are going to run the same line. As Atkinson going to get held up a little bit here through traffic. As Atkinson gets held up by the 60. Slides up in front of the 42 up bait. But Baldridge still out front as he's going to come out of turn number four. You got 13 laps completed. We are almost halfway home. Baldridge slicing and dicing his way through lap traffic. Now he's going to come up to the back of Chuck Comer who's going to... Baldridge is going to dive to the bottom side of the speedway as he gets underneath. Comer now going to try to pick off Matt Menzi down there. Oh, Jim Body spins it around over here. Uh, down here at the bottom of turns one and two. That's going to bring out a caution. Points behind Jace Parmley. So it's going to be a good race as we come out of turn number four. Green flag. We got 16 to go. All right. Baldridge again going off, getting off to a gray start. Parmley getting to the inside of Baldridge. Hackinson going to try to go to the outside of Baldridge, make it a three-wide battle. Parmley and Baldridge made contact here in turn number three. Atkinson gets around, and you got a new race leader, and it's the outlaw, Dustin Atkinson, getting by at that time at the line. Look at the battle back here in the mid-pack for fifth as you've got Kriegler, Petty, Bittner all battling, Ertel, Dugan all there battling for position as we go. Baldridge gets the lead back, and we've got... Six, 14 laps to go now. Down into turn number three. They're going to rock and roll. You got a door-to-door -door Duke Fest. Atkinson back to the race lead. Baldridge in second. Parmley third. As Atkinson, he's found his line. He's got it cooking and booking down the back stretch. He's going to create that separation. The outlaw, he's coming in with guns hot. Out of turn number four. Oh, by .097, Atkinson holds on. Brandon Baldridge not going to give it up just yet. He's not done fighting. 
He's like, you know what, guy? We're going to battle clear to the end as we got carnage. We got carnage in turn one. Carnage in turn one. Bringing out a caution. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Back it down, gentlemen. Back it down. Down into three with your leader, the 4A of Dustin Atkinson. Here we go. Green flags back up and out and in the air. And the outlaw is going to take him right into turn one. Already working the middle of the pack. Here comes Sawyer Kriegler getting around. Caden Cornell moving up to fourth. He's slicing and dicing, getting underneath. Jace Parmley now coming up to the backside of Brandon Baldridge, your current rookie of the year leader. Baldridge getting to the inside of the outlaw. Here comes Joe Dirt himself. It's Kriegler to his inside. Kriegler's not going to be able to clear him. Baldridge can't clear Dustin Atkinson, Atkinson out of turn number four, crossing the stripe. We're going to have ten more laps to go, and we got a car at the top of turn three and four. Oh, that's Noah Ames up there. Yellow is out. Yellow is out. We got one around here on the front stretch. I think that's Menzi down here yep. on the front stretch. Matt Menzi down here on the front stretch. Down the back stretch we go into turn number three. Ladies and gentlemen, ten laps remaining, and the green flag is back in the air. Look at that, three wide behind Atkinson getting down into turn number one. It was Parmley, Baldridge, and then Kriegler. Kriegler, Baldridge got shuffled back. Oh, we got massive contact back there. That's Bittner and Dugan on the backstretch. Do we go down the backstretch? We're going to try to get them up nose to tail as Baldridge comes to the backside of Atkinson as they go into turn number three. Atkinson's going to lead them through three and four, waiting for that restart zone. Out of four, green flag is out. We're back at it. And down in a one and two, they're going to go Sawyer Kriegler back in fourth. Going to go right to the top shelf. As they're going to go down the back stretch, Jackson are going to move over the top side. Baldridge and Parmley going to be down on the bottom side of the speedway. Look at this. Kriegler got up into the top three. Now he's got his sight set on the one spot. But I see a lot of dust down in the infield. Not sure what happened or who's down there. But we're clean and green coming out of turn four. Brandon Baldridge trying to make a run, not able to get it to stick. Baldridge back by .096 seconds that last time at the line, but as you can see, it's really close. Baldridge is trying to throw everything he can to get to that start-finish line before Atkinson, and he does that time. Oh, no, look like Baldridge had it. Baldridge was back by .003 seconds that last time at the line. But now they're going to come up to some lap traffic, and Baldridge is going to try to squeeze Atkinson out of there. And you got a new race leader with six laps to go. Six more trips around. Can Brandon Baldridge hold on to the race lead, or are we going to have a new victor as they come out of turn four? Here comes the 11 of Sawyer Kriegler. He's trying to get down to the bottom side of Atkinson, trying to get into that number two spot as they go down the back stretch and into turn number three. Out of turn four, it is your current rookie of the year, the 13 of Brandon Baldridge. Followed in by Atkinson Kriegler, now going to go back up to the top side, going to try to run down one and two as there's lap traffic. They're slicing and dicing all over the place. Out of turn four, you guys, three to go. Three more trips around, and your current rookie of the year Leader is leading the charge here. He's trying to make his way to the victory lane here. At the quick quarter mile, he gets underneath. As he is now getting underneath, and we've got two more laps to go as he is slicing and dicing his way through lap traffic. Kriegler now getting around. Atkinson moving up into that second spot. Kriegler moves up to second. Atkinson up to third. Parmley shuffles back to fourth. Baldridge is going to get the white flag. One more lap to go. Can the rookie of the year contender hold on as he gets around rolling? He's going into turn number three while the rest are coming out of turn number two. Brandon Baldridge out of turn number four is going to get the checkered flag. Second's going to go to Sawyer Kriegler, and Dustin Atkinson is going to finish third. Parmley finishes fourth, and Joey Smith finishes fifth. 